All right, all right. Let's get this show on the road. <clears throat> Newspaper time. Well, your test results came through, and yes, you are a hundred percent that. Oh, oh, my mistake. Um, I guess you're the another patient I have uh, wants to know what percentage of heritage she is, and I, you know, looked that up and it found out that she's a hundred percent that. Uh, well, it's not really appropriate for this particular conversation. I need some plastic surgery. I'm not that kind of doctor, ma'am. I'm the kind of doctor that, you know, gives prescriptions out, gives people drugs, and, you know, makes them feel good and stuff. Plus, the surgery you're asking for is controversial. Uh uh I mean, like, perhaps in the next 50 years or so, while technology improves more and more, I'm assuming that... I just want to be a Muppet, okay? Well, that's possible, but you would have to cut into, like, felt, and you need a seamstress or somebody who can sew or anything like that. I can pay you. <laughs> I do like money. And after all, that's why I became a doctor. I don't want to look like Janice from the Muppets band. She looks like she's already had work done. And I don't want to look like I have work done. I want to look perfect. Perfection is hard to reach, ma'am. After all, you know, nobody's perfect. And I know that because I like to say, Poe Buddy's nerfic. It's a pun where you switch the first two letters of both words, perfect and nobody. I think it's funny. But, you know, this surgery, you're mixing meat with uh, inanimate objects and chemicals. Well, in case you change your mind... It's not about me making up my mind. It's an ethical decision. Like, I might go into surgery with you, and you might end up looking like Oscar the Grouch. Do you want to look like a trash can monster? I don't think so. I don't think that's a good idea, especially for your complexion. Well, thanks for accidentally wasting my time. Oh, wait, hold on there a second. I'll be on my way. No, listen, I'm really sorry that if I If it could... meant anything, you could have changed the world. Waiting for this lady on the street. Uh, hopefully she knows that I'm not following her. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, oh, the doctor! Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I want to be a Muppet. Mm -hmm. All right. Time to check this thing that... What am I doing again? Um, hmm. Darn, I can't think of what I'm trying to do. Uh, huh. mm. Oh, she um, looked... I can hear you thinking back there. Okay, I think I lost him. <laughs> oh, hey! I'm sorry about my gross flesh lips, but I need to kiss you. See, is that good? Is that good enough? I, I, I can't. I just want to be a Muppet. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Um, can you tell me about that Muppet wannabe? Absolutely not. I don't know that huh, girl. A likely story. She kissed you. That was my first sir, kiss. Sir, I need you to focus for a second. Why are you following her around anyways? You some kind of boyfriend or whatever? Here's my card. I'm a private investigator. Yoink, just kidding. <laughs> I live at home with my parents. Uh -huh.